Hey there, folks, and welcome back to Space Engineers. I've just been perusing the asteroid that we have been uh, currently making our home, and I found a little bit of iron and platinum. Platinum is uh, definitely needed. Iron, not so much. But uh, this is just probably a small little node from a, an asteroid, would be my guess. It's at the bottom of a crater, so we're going to try to get the platinum. And, uh... Alright, I think, uh, we may have gotten it. Well, it says it's still here. I don't see it. Let's see, is the platinum down further? I don't believe so. Oh, we got some incoming droids. Well, we're gonna have to ski daddle. We're gonna get shot at otherwise. We'll see if we gathered any of that. I'm not sure if we did, but today... Ooh, there's some silver and some cobalt. We do need cobalt. Where was the silver? Was it down here? Is it another asteroid? Yeah, it's just another asteroid impact. So there's just small uh, nodes of the rare resources there. Not, not large amounts, but there's something at least. And is that ice? I think it is. Anywho. Energy low. Let's quick grab that. And we'll head back to base because today we have a very important project to begin work on. We're definitely not going to finish it this episode, but we're definitely going to start it. Alright, let's... Uh, well, we got some stone, some ice, and a little bit of platinum. We'll put the platinum... Actually, let's take this and see if we can put it in the refinery. Where, oh, where is the refinery? There it is. It's breaking down our uranium right now. Perfect. And I was just grinding away some ships by hand, and I did notice some stuff. Uh, I noticed the platinum and some of the other resources, which is why I decided to start the episode there. So we can drop off some of the things that we were grinding away. And the main project that we're going to be working on this episode is we are going to begin work on... We might as well just take all of that. We're going to begin work on the large attack craft that we're going to use to take down the salvage station. So, we're going to create some scaffolding. I'm going to create it as the white color. We're going to create some scaffolding out here so that we can build our ship on. It's going to be a large ship. Uh, because we don't really have a large amount of reactor components, it's not going to use nuclear power. And because it's not going to use nuclear power and we don't have a lot of thrust components, we are going to be using hydrogen thrusters. We have plenty of access to ice, so I'm not worried at all about running out of uh, fuel. We'll just have to put enough uh, fuel tanks on it. We will have some backup ion thrusters, but they'll only be just that, backup ion thrusters. Uh, they won't be used for the main propulsion. The main propulsion will be the hydrogen thrusters. Let's gain our energy back. I was out there for a while. Uh, one thing we could do is if we start running low on resources, we can obviously create them with our assemblers, and we can also grind away some of this larger ship, as we really don't need any of it anymore. So, if need be, we can uh, start grinding that away. 
I don't believe we have really anything of use left in here. Nope, not really. Just some... Just some, uh... Hydrogen and oxygen tanks. Alright, so... We are going to begin work. Uh, this is going to be mostly a building episode. We're going to stop it through periodic points through uh, the building process and show you uh, what we have created. But for now, we are going to need a landing gear to start. Actually, you know what? We're going to go to control group 2, get the landing gear out. We're going to use light armor blocks. We're also going to use heavy armor blocks in specific locations. Um, and what else shall we put? We, should, we will need hydrogen tanks. We will need... What else will we need? We will need conveyors and connectors because everything is going to be connected via conveyors and connectors. And we're also going to need the conveyor junction. I think right now we're going to basically lay out the internals of the ship. Uh, and then <clears throat> once we have the internals of the ship, we will be able to build the uh, skin of the ship. And we'll make it look pretty from there. So first off, we'll start off with the thrust systems, and then we'll uh, go from there and make the uh, conveying system for the ammunition for our missile turrets and Gatling turrets. So with that being said, let's uh, rotate this. Doesn't want to rotate. Oh, come on. Come on now. Maybe I just need to create a block first. And I think we will get started.
So here is the basic skeleton of our new attack craft. It's going to have two large hydrogen tanks, and it's going to be fueled by uh, hydrogen thrusters. It's going to be one large uh, in the rear, and one, two, three, four, five, and six small thrusters. And we have each we have a pod on each side, which has uh, up, down, and side thrust, as well as retro thrust and it's mirrored on this side and it's all connected via conveyor tubes and uh, conveyor connectors and then we have the same thing up front uh, well we have a, a tank up front however these particular conveyors and connectors are going to be used for the gatling turrets and missile turrets they are all going to be connected to the cargo containers in here which then each one of these uh, conveyor junctions is going to have either a Gatling turret or missile turret on them. So one there, one there, one there, and then one down here. We still have to build this, but that will be once this thing is um, no longer connected via that. And then there also will be one there, one there, one there, one there, and that should be enough. We are going to be putting heavy armor on the front of this ship. And the rest of this is probably going to get light armor, and in critical areas like the thrust pods, probably is going to get some heavy armor as well. So, uh, I think we ought to weld some of this up, and then we can consider putting some of the interior. The interior of the ship is going to be relatively small, it might just be two decks, and it's going to be relatively thin in this area. And it will be containing the side conveyors and the upper conveyors as well. So it's going to be a relatively tall ship, not too wide. Unfortunately, because of the bulk of the armor and stuff up here and the way that it looks back here, it's going to be relatively phallic looking, but there's uh, <laughs> no way around it, unfortunately. Uh, we'll try to uh, distract the eyes from that as much as possible. We'll give it some style, I think. So... I think, uh, well, we actually have been under attack by several drones. I don't know if you saw it, but uh, a couple drones attacked us. We do have some uranium from it, as well as some thrust components and whatnot. Uh, but our Gatling turrets are doing a good job of protecting us. So by the time they reach us, well, they just boink right off the side of our construction project. So with that being said, I think we're going to start constructing some of this. We're going to use up most of the components that we have. And, yeah, I think that'll be it. Uh, let's uh, get back to the montage.
All right, so we have completed a significant amount of work on the ship. Uh, it's not quite complete yet. Uh, right now we're getting some motors created so we can finish this. But the reason that I dropped out of our montage sequence is because we are fresh out of metal grids and we don't have any cobalt to make the metal grids with. So we are going to have to uh, find a source of cobalt and mine it. Um, we have been under attack recently by drones and whatnot, so I'm actually going to duck our ships into some cover because I don't want them to get damaged. As you can see, there's actually a large amount of metal scrap on our uh, solar panels right now that I would like to clean up, but we'll do that in due time. Let's uh, hide this so that... Uh, the drones have a harder time hitting it. All right, so let's go inside here. Actually, I'm going to pick up some of this scrap here. There we go. All right, uh, let's go inside, and I believe we are making some motors, and we're going to grab the motors that we are making. Let's hide the empties and look at our assembler. Let's... Uh, Let's make some nickel, actually. There we go. Now we're making the motors. Um, and we can also throw in some scrap metal. Do we have any more scrap metal we can throw in there? I do not believe so. All right, so let's grab what motors we do have. And let's look at our production, assembler, assembler 2. Looks like we could use a bunch more motors, so we don't need that, actually. We, we have quite enough interior plate for now. So what I'm going to do is we're going to finish up what we can on this ship, and then we're going to go take a look and see if we can't find some cobalt. Let's see here. Let's try to finish this up. Nope, oh, all out of motors. That didn't last very long. Okay, well, this station will be creating motors while we go look for some cobalt. Um, I'm actually going to drop off what resources we do have. Because we do not need them. I'm actually going to also pick up... We have some uranium... Let's all plop it together in the same area. And we're going to take five uranium with us to fuel our ship. Let's take a look. Is there anything else that we need? I don't think so. Uh, here is our mining ship. I believe the ejector or connector is turned to eject right now. So yes, it is. So let's turn that off. And now we can go in here and put the uranium in and the reactors will use them. Now we have some more motors. I'm just going to quick try to build as much as we can. And as you can see, we took a little bit of damage. Um, and that has been from mostly running out of energy, <laughs> which is entirely my fault. But uh, yeah, I've been running out of energy from time to time and just taking a little bit of damage. So we could definitely use a welding ship. I think that's going to be the next thing that we're going to want because it's taken an incredibly long amount of time just to get the work done that we have gotten done. And if we had a welding ship, that would make it oh so much nicer. It's We'd just be able to throw all of our components into a cargo container, and from there, we would be able to just weld away. So what I'm going to do is, well, number one, turn on our Gatling cannon to defend ourselves, because uh, <laughs> just look at all this debris from all these drones that have uh, met their demise. It's, it's quite the dangerous debris field, actually. We'll have to be careful. Um, all right, so let's go into our GPS and we'll turn on the 
locations for these so we know which asteroids not to visit and kind of to give us an idea of where we have been. The silicon, I believe, is in the same area as the uranium scrap, so no need to turn that on. All right, so we have been in this direction. We have been in that direction, but not really so much in this direction. So I think that's where we're going to go. Let's uh, hit up this asteroid, see if we can find anything. Then we'll hit up that cluster, and we'll go from there. And it ought to reach there pretty quickly. It's not that far away. All right. Goodbye, base. See you when we see you. One thing that we could also use is we're running relatively low on iron. Uh, there's some iron down there. There's actually iron back at our home base asteroid, so we could do that. Or we can just straight up mine regular rock for iron. But... Uh, that's something to keep in mind, is we will need some iron eventually. It might pay to make another refinery back at base, too. But I think we'll do that a little bit later, as one is adequate for now, I think. You know what? I think I'm going to meet you back when we have uh, found the asteroid. All right, and well, I have been exploring asteroid after asteroid after asteroid, and I have found, well, a whole heck of a lot of stone. Found one with iron, and I actually found one with silver over there. But I finally, after quite a bit of searching, probably a good solid, no joke, hour and a half's worth of searching, I did find some cobalt. Um, so this is where it is. It's hiding inside a cave. And that's why I always check out caves, because you never know what you'll find inside. So we're going to mine a little bit of cobalt, and then we'll probably uh, call it for the episode. At least, uh, I know it might not be the longest episode in terms of view time, but for me, oh god, this one took hours to make. So uh, we'll just mine some of this stuff. Get a couple uh, thousand... And that ought to be good. We know where the cobalt is now. That's that's the main thing, is trying to find it. Once we know where it is, it's not an issue. There's actually quite a bit of cobalt in this vein. It goes pretty deep. Which is good. Let's take a look. What's our inventory look like? Um... Quite a few thousand, I think, will be good. I'm going to turn it off, back out of here slowly so I don't destroy our cargo container. I believe we are... Yep, ooh. This is a precarious uh, hole, but I think we can get out of it. There we go. That'll do nicely. So let's point ourselves back. Well, let's see. There's S. There's the silver. There's the ice asteroid. That's a stone asteroid. I believe that's the stone asteroid that uh, we were initially going to go look at. But there was nothing there. And this is home. So we will head home. And you know what? I think that'll be enough for this episode. Next episode, we'll continue work on our large... Attack craft. I think that'll do it for now. Catch you guys next time.